hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting video so in this video we're going to talk about the best CICD tools which you should know as part of your DevOps career or what you are uh, want to implement on your organizations so when I say about the best CICD tool we are not going to talk about overall DevOps tools or both CICD and other lot of other tools uh, we are going to focus this uh, part of this video on the continuous integration tool so or, or sometimes we call it as uh, build tools right so uh, we are going to talk about that in this so uh, I, I want to get started you know on those some specific tool before I would like to ask you like you know what are your uh, favorite tools because you should have some of your favorite tools right so probably you know I want you to write down uh, those information like what are your favorites and then I'll put those into the comment sections because you know I would like to hear from you like what are your uh, CI tools which you have worked on it or some of things uh, you feel it's more important for you than which I'm showing okay because what I'm showing is very a uh, short file because I, I there are a lot of other tools as well which are available uh, you know for the CI tools which uh, are used by different people okay so this is not a comparison or this is not a recommendation from my end or I'm not doing any promotional video here it's just a informational video for those who has not worked on you know different kind of uh, CA tools now why uh, you know the continuous integration and why we are talking about the CA tool here it's because it's really important you know to select the right tool for your organization because you know if you don't know you know you only know one tool and you go for it maybe later time you may see okay this tool may not be the right one I have a different one which can be you know uh, would have selected you know that tool uh, uh, as a better tool for this right so this is very important that you know you should know the different tools and you should select the right tool for your organization and in DevOps if you see the continuous uh, you know integration or automated delivery uh, is the backbone of the overall process right when you have a source code in any version control system and the next process of this integration and the automation is what uh, some of the backbone of the DevOps right and uh, with this workflow uh, number of CACD tools because uh, you know uh, there are overflow of number of CACD tools not the workflow uh, so when you say like you know there are so much of num uh, tools in available in the market and you know uh, it becomes very you know difficult for you as a person in the DevOps engineer or in the organization to pick the right tool for you right so this you know this is for you to give you know, uh, you know uh, some of the details of what this tool is about so that you can have you know the selection process much easier for you and your team okay so uh, before I get into this actual discussion on different tools I would also request you like you know if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button also uh, give a like or, or thumbs up and also share these videos with your colleagues and others so that they can also benefit okay so uh, I want to talk a little bit about continuous integration server or CI server right so what is a uh, continuous uh, integration right so the continuous integration is the heart of DevOps as I mentioned you know the automation or you know it's, it's it's also sometimes called as a build server right continuous integration server or build server where you have the source code and you'll have to do the build of your whether it's a java based or it's it's, it's a dot net brace uh, based or you know it can be a node.js or different kind of uh, your source code you can build that and you will get an output of of it right so you know it's in, it's more of an extension of agile what we're doing in devops right when the developers commits to the repository the CI servers in each initiates this automated build right and test so you will get an output from it so whenever there is an commit it will you know uh, do this uh, merge conflict and you know the integration of your source code so the CI helps to avoid all this uh, merge conflict and issues as part of your code right and this uh, CI you know also uh, C continuous integration also speed ups your development process and pushes the release uh, as is very closer right because whenever you make some commit and do this automated build you will easily know what is the issues what are the conflict and you can fix those things and you can proceed right so it's it's more of like uh, continuous feedbacks which you are doing as part of this uh, CA server right so you'll get all this uh, information and you can keep fixing you know in the process so that is the overall pro agenda of continuous integration server 
uh, which you know uh, I have a lot of videos on that on Jenkins and other GitLab CI and all those things you can have a look what we do as part of that so what we are going to start is the different tools which I want to explain as I mentioned Jenkins is one of the tools you know which I, I'm sure everybody most of all DevOps person would have seen Jenkins or must have worked on Jenkins because this is the popular uh, tools and why because this is an open source uh, CI solution and this is widely used in software engineering as well so it's easy to build and you know you can it's it's uh, you know uh, vastly majority of DevOps teams have deployed it in, uh, it is in Jenkins uh, why because it's more you know uh, free and easily you can easily install in as a local application or you can use it on cloud installation as well and it have a lot of you know features and plugins which you can integrate with the different kind of scenarios so it's easy for you to use Jenkins now uh, when I say like uh, plugins as many of like uh, almost 1500 and more uh, plugins are available for Jenkins this is also a drawback because there is, there is a big challenge in how we can manage these plugins in Jenkins because we keep adding more and more plugins and become a big difficulty for managing these plugins going forward in Jenkins and you know Jenkins also supports this uh, distributed builds like master slave architecture and it's very e simple and user friendly interface so that's why you know Jenkins is one of the widely uh, deployed and majority used uh, you know a CI tool uh, but I, I think it has more change now because there has been a lot of enterprise tools came up and also like GitLab, GitHub those kind of tools also have a lot of you know overall DevOps uh, uh, solutions so you know it has changed like you know now uh, Jenkins usage may have come down a little bit because of a lot of other tools as uh, came up in the market as well now if I move on to you know, other tool circle CI I don't know how many of you have heard about circle CI this is also a very uh, interesting tool so this is also one of the continuous integration and in, uh, delivery platform and this also support uh, different coding languages and the one of the benefits of circle CI is, is like you know, it's, it's highly customizable and easy scaling because it's it has a straightforward user interface with uh, a lot of customization we can do so that it's one of the easy, you know a simple tool which we can use and we have a lot of management interfaces and uh, creating complex workflows which you can easily do with uh, circle ci and it's not an open source but it's uh, it's a free uh, so version as well available however to get the complete benefit you need will have to do a sign up and uh, the pricing details you'll have to see on the website which I will show you a little bit late you know each you know each if you see it's uh, application I also given the web link under it so you can have a look on that so it will give you complete details about what is the pricing as well so you know uh, as I mentioned it does not have the breadth of integration or plugins like others like in Jenkins have a lot of plugins uh, which you can integrate so this one does not have that much of integrations or plugins available but this simplicity and you know lean or fast uh, uptake or is, is important because uh, as I mentioned it's a simple tool and it's uh, worth considering if you uh, you know want to try out because always you you know before you deciding which tool you want to go uh, what I would suggest is like don't go with what I'm saying as well or something you read on the internet or Google what you need to do is you need to do a proof of concept so you have to try out all these applications then you have to list down what are the benefits what are you know each scenarios like uh, when you run a pipeline how much time will take for this pipeline in this tool uh, what, what are the different kind of uh, resources like you know you uh, when you run what is the cost for it uh, why not, what are the different kind of features they have what are the different kind of drawbacks what are the integrations you can with what kind of application so you have to do a, a proof step and you have to collect the data points on each uh, tools then you can compare it so the next one which I want to talk about is team city so if you see the team city is uh, you know a build management and continuous integration server from JetBrains so you, you would have seen like uh, you know JetBrains you have a lot of uh, other you know coding tools right uh, which you must be using and uh, the benefit of team city is it's easy to install and in its in interface is really user friendly as well and you can run a lot of parallel builds at the same time so it doesn't mean like other does not have the parallel bit even other tools have parallel bit but this is e e you know you can do it much easier and you know the benefit like team city is a 
commercial tool with the both uh, free and proprietary license as well so you have both versions available and you know it's allow you to you know test these changes without committing uh, directly you know to the vcs like version control tools you can directly do the testing from team city for this continuous integration process so that is these are some benefits and you know some of the points which i want to bring it for team city as i mentioned I'm not giving you a comparison. I want, I'm giving you option that you know there is a tool called Team City. You have a look and you try to do a comparison between all these uh, versions. You can create your own you know proposal and you can create on your comparison on each tool. So the next one which I want to talk about is the GitLab CI. So you know we have a complete section on GitLab CI. Uh, you can refer into my channel. So you know GitLab CI is also a free continuous integration with a tool with an open source core. So you can use that core and you can develop all from your own as well. So uh, the other thing about GitLab is GitLab is not just alone an integration tool. It's actually a complete suite of tools for managing different aspects of software development lifecycle. So as you can know that you know GitLab already have the version uh, you know control system, right? So you repository you. Uh, upload your source code and you can version it uh, in the GitLab, right? So the, you also have a continuous integration. You have a lot of other uh, options as well as a complete DevOps tool. GitLab can perform that. So, you know, usually, you know, if you are using GitLab as your uh, version control system, it's easy for you to choose GitLab CI because uh, without thinking too much, because it's easy for you to integrate uh, seamlessly with uh, different project integration using GitLab as a version control and also GitLab CI as your integration, right? And also GitLab have a lot of uh, other features like uh, GitLab container registry. You can also do scanning uh, of your containers. It also give you the SAS uh, uh, no, options for scanning the code. It also have uh, no, uh, no dynamic application security testing. It also have dependency scanning. So there are a lot of features in GitLab as well. And it also have a lot of APIs for numerous features so you can have deep uh, product integration as well. So this is also one of the uh, important uh, tool which a lot of people are using. As I mentioned, if you are using GitLab as your source code, then it's pretty easy. You can just directly go with the, uh, GitLab CI. Now the next one which I want to talk about is GitHub Actions. So you know GitHub Action is also like something called GitLab because CI because it's if you have a GitHub uh, source code, it's easy for you to integrate with the GitHub Action as well. Now GitHub Action as well also have both uh, free and paid uh, op options so you can find out the details on this web link so you do have a lot of uh, you know, cost uh, de dependency like if you are using public repositories you will have uh, free and unlimited computing uh, times of GitHub Actions so when you run this uh, builds you know it has to run on some system so if you are using public repository it's uh, give you unlimited uh, usage but whereas if you have private repository which source code you cannot expose it then you have a lot of limitations you'll have to pay for a lot of your usage okay and I uh, know it's more of a SaaS based application so more of cloud and you can create custom continuous integration workflows depending upon your git repository uh, github repository and github action so you can uh, see all those things in the documentation how to do it i may be also doing a diff uh, different uh, complete series on github action how to use github actions and how to create our workflows uh, how to support this workflow or, you know with different kind of languages whether it's node.js or java or dotnet how we can do all these builds how we can deploy two different kind of uh, source code as well so that is all you know i just want to give you so i have uh, given you you know five different uh, you know, uh, uh, I know CI tools. Let me also show you. So I have uh, given all these links in the you know uh, my um, in the presentation when I showed. I will also give into this video description so you can go to these all these links. You can read out about Jenkins. You can also read about Circle CI. You can also read about Team City and uh, GitLab CI and GitHub Actions. You can read all these things and you will get the complete details about you know each tool then you as i mentioned you do a comparison and then you decide which one is best for you so that is all uh, for this uh, tutorial i wanted to give you the details about different few tools there are a lot of other tools as well like travis ci and a lot of uh, bamboo a lot of other tools which are used by different person as i mentioned you put those things into the comment section which you have worked on it or which you feel you know better like azure devops is there which is also a good tool 
so these are something which I put it so since I put it as top 5 I, I put this one if it's top 6 or 7 you'll see more so uh, I just want to keep it short so thank you for watching and I would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel uh, like my uh, videos and share it with others and also keep supporting me as you guys done it so far so uh, we'll see you in the next videos uh, soon thank you